I sound just like the beat, right? You guys wouldn't have noticed if I didn't start talking. So we left off killing some bosses. It wasn't going too bad at all. The Berry Champion, Turkor, Star Scouter, Wall of Flesh. So the goal is to fight the Wall of Flesh this episode or this stream. If not, at least set up like a base. So Berry Champion, that's Marble. Marble, not Marvel. Speak about Marvel. You know, they dropped that Shang-Chi trailer. But like, I'm hyped for like this new era of Marvel movies coming out. Like, I really want to see the Eternals. I could really give a... I, well, I'm still going to go watch Black Widow, but like... I don't really care about it. That's like kind of the old phase at this point. So Shang-Chi, I'm hyped for. The Eternals, I'm hyped for. Of course, all the shit about Spider-Man 3, I'm hyped for. Now, I already know what you guys are going to ask me. Game readers, more stories. Give us some time. Give us some time, okay? And then I think our goal now is going to be to kill Hoplite. So they drop this right here, Bronze Alloy. Because if the boss doesn't naturally spawn, then at least we got this stuff to make the spawn. Who were the other 100 game readers? To become a game raider, you know, you got to go through a uh, very tough process and uh, you got to murder all the previous raiders before you. So number one, he had it pretty easy, but then here came two, three, like once two was a thing, he had to murder one. Once three was a thing, he had to murder two. Uh, I am the last game raider alive. No, there's no 102. Don't even think about saying it. <laughs> There's no I'm going to be 102. Nope. The thing is, here's the thing about my story is I killed the next 100 and it stops at 200 or it stops at 202 is what I should say. Let's do it. I think we can take this boss probably. I don't know. <laughs> the headroom still feels a little eh. I don't like that. That's a lot of arrows and they go through walls. Okay, there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> See, this is the shit I was talking about where he, he goes into the wall and you can't hit him. There we go. Ah, it wasn't a struggle at all. Let me let me do this here. Grapple. We put on mouse four. It's time to change the grapple. First time in years. Oh, see, I'm already forgetting. Wild milk and cookies. Imagine your milk and cookies being wild. We'll stick. Oh yes. Imagine your milk and cookies being warding. Let's make let's make the permanent buffs. This is something I don't do too often. So I'm pretty sure we just hold this and we get buffed. So that means we need 30 of all of these. I got to remember what my grappling hook but button's on. That's going to fuck me over one time. I know it is. So this is going to cost 60 gold. Wow. Tell us about the time you stabbed an old man 17, time 17 times in the neck at Kmart. Easy. Do I have enough? Yeah, I do. Okay. 30 bowls. The mushrooms are not a problem. The it's the fish that's the problem all right what's the fastest way to collect fish <laughs> can i craft a regular old fish absolutely not i have a fishing pole right oh i have a golden fishing rod all right oh my god is this always how this thing worked this makes fishing fun when you get the golden fishing rod like at the beginning of the game what's my favorite thing in this mod i'm not gonna say i like the clicking <laughs> until that master bait runs out i'm gonna fish it doesn't look like it's running out anytime soon Oh, there you go, I ran out. Can I play Terraria? No, I hate that game. All right, there you go, we got 30. Does, does this work? It does, perfect. Unlimited basic buffs. What is the worst mount in vanilla Terraria? The black spot, aha. Uh, Lepus, we're probably just not gonna fight Lepus. Turkor, 10 gold for a damn turkey. Escape rocket, this is gonna be our way to get to the island. Fight Lepus pussy, bro, the fucking drop is rarer than any income you'll make in your life. And we're off. Look at that, we made it. Oh, fuck, I forgot what button grapples on. Bro, can the heart spawn in? Am I just not high enough for harpies? There you go, there's a harpy. This is why I don't like fighting Lepus and Turquoise, bro. To get their drops, it low-key takes too much effort. Is that it? That's it right there. Perfect, all right. Let us go ahead, let's make the influence potion. Let's do it. Do we need a specific time of day? Absolutely not. Let's fight Turkor. Turkor can be a little bit of a problem sometimes. I don't remember what, what, what do I attack? Don't attack his head? All right, I want to do it. Damn, there's fireballs and shit going on. I don't remember this fight going like this. I'll definitely uh, up this a little bit. Oh, look, it's a Lepus bunny. Will it drop the Lepus spawn? No, it doesn't. See what I mean? <laughs> Kind of hard to fight Lepus because uh, the enemy's so rare and then it doesn't even guarantee the drop. 
I remember there was this one teacher that wanted to like go to a graveyard. I think it was my ceramics teacher. She wanted to go to a graveyard for Halloween so we could get ideas for like tombstones. And I was like, what the fuck? I don't want to go to that. <laughs> Why the hell would I want to go to a graveyard? I got one story. There's not too many stories about health ed. Health ed was like a half semester class. I remember it was like during like a test where we had to like label all the like parts of a dick. And then I was asking the girl in front of me. I'm like, hey, yo, do you remember what this is? <laughs> Oh shit, I'm just cheating. And she was helping me out. I was like, alright, shit. Stop telling me to make dirty influencer potions. I'm gonna fucking ban you if you say that shit again. Say it one more time, pussy. Alright, ban them all. All of them, Dav. All of them. Any embarrassing stories? Oh, really? Off the top of the dome? I, I can't remember, like, any embarrassing stories. I feel like embarrassing shit never happened to me that often. And then like if it ever it did, like I never really considered it considered it embarrassing. You know? Consider like funny. I guess like sometimes <laughs> Sometimes when I'd like fall asleep in class, like I would just make a noise out of nowhere. You guys ever have that shit happen? <laughs> and I'd have to play that off. Like I'd be like shit just knocking out. You know, like when you're in class, you're super fucking tired. You're just like dozing off. And then I'd be like, uh. <laughs> like I'll make a noise like that or I'll fucking snore. And go like, Ugh. I'd have to play it off and be like, <laughs> um, uh. like I remember like junior year, around. Yeah, I think it was junior year. I would wear a hat that like it was just a regular fucking dad dad cap or maybe it was a strap back i don't remember but like i would wear a hat and then i would pull it over my eyes and i should have just be knocking out in class i don't remember that i would do that shit in so many classes that's why teachers be making you take off your hat in some schools or some places they don't want you knocking out like that i said fuck it they don't tell me to take my hat off i'm gonna just cover my eyes and sleep and you know, you get used to sleeping with like one of your hands on your face. So it looks like you're still like awake, like elbow on the desk, one hand on the face. And then I would have my pencil in my other hand to make it look like I'm still awake. Like you, you learn how to do that shit in school if you fall asleep a lot. You learn the, all the tricks and shit. It's only once I catch myself snoring, that's when shit gets bad. Even like tricks where you like listen to music, you know, you slip your headphones through your sleeve and then you put your hand on your face. Or your hand on your ear and you're listening to music and nobody could tell. Like that's some shit I I would do all the time too. I'd usually only sleep in classes though where it didn't really matter. Like my history class, my teacher, he was a cool teacher. He would just play fucking videos throughout the whole class about just presidents. And we went through like 40, 30 presidents. That shit was so boring. We would just talk about like the president and their history. And I would just be knocked out during that. I'm like, I don't really care. So I don't care that fucking Herbert Hoover had a damn dog, all right? Got any erection stories? No. Damn. My history teacher likes to put on lo-fi as we work. See, that's a cool teacher right there. I could get some work done to lo-fi, bro. I remember I had a speech. What was that? Sophomore year? Yeah, it was sophomore year. I had to give a speech for my English class. You know how, like, English teachers, they grade speeches. So at the beginning of my speech, I, I wrote that I was going to I was going to say a knock knock joke. So like I got up and I went, all right, I'm going to tell the joke to start this off. I went knock knock and everyone in the class is like, who's there? I got everyone's attention. And then I'm like, all right, now that everyone's paying attention, let's go ahead and move on with the speech. I never finished the joke, but I remember I looked at my teacher and she was like so happy with that solid a plus grade on that bitch just for that attention grabber no you know what felt good the after school naps like that shit would low-key fuck up your sleep schedule a little bit you'll be a little tired but god damn those after school naps bro sheesh i remember when i used to fucking i don't know how i do it how i did it it's like the equivalent to like people that are in college and work a bunch of jobs but i used to work a regular job grind youtube work out hang out with friends i don't know how i managed that but like i remember during like that type of schedule bruh i was so like tired worst school lunch i didn't even eat school lunch like that often ever most of the time it just wasn't worth standing in line shit not even okay it was like below average who the fuck keeps on messaging me on discord it's my editor okay <laughs> what's your school's dumbest rule i don't know i didn't go to that strict of a school 
what I used to do, and that's probably why I got to like skinny in uh, during my senior year, I would just bring like a granola bar, like one or two granola bars, and that was legit all I would eat. Cause like most of the time I wouldn't eat breakfast. Say if I like woke up late or I wanted to sleep more, I just wouldn't eat breakfast then. So like I would just straight up bring like two granola bars and eat that every day. What's the next boss? Star Scouter. What the hell is happening? Blood Moon, Slime Rain, like... <laughs> I'm just trying to fight this boss. This is not high enough. There you go. <laughs> not high enough? Just go a little bit higher. Of course. I might die, bro. I can't move. I'm so slow. 10 more seconds and I can heal. Oh my god. What just did so much damage to me? I mean, I did say it was the hardest, pretty hard about throwing the boss, but Ryan said he broke up with you. We were never together. How can he break up with me? I remember we we always had like an extra teacher in ceramics, bro. He was just always there. Like he would be our sub sometimes. I remember he was just like he was working on a pot and he was listening to music, and I was like, damn, this music fucking sucks. <laughs> So I go up to the radio. We're usually allowed to touch the radio and stuff and change the music to whatever we want. So I go up to the radio and I changed it. And then he goes, hey, I was listening to that. And then he's like, hey, come over. He's like, hey, come over here. Come over here. I was like, what, what happened? So I go, go up to him and he's like, you're probably one of the kids that likes to drink and drive or something, huh? And I was like, what? <laughs> what the fuck does that have to do with me changing the radio station? <laughs> this shit, it was just, it was so out of nowhere. But like the whole time I was in ceramics, the two years that I had it, I shout out Ryan for the rating party of eight. The two time, the two times I had ceramics, I never made a pot. I would go to the re reject pile of pots and I would just take pots from there. And she would never know. I would just touch them up a little bit. All right, uh, star caller, boom. Let's not take an L this time or I'm gonna slap myself. I've gotten hit once this whole fight. Look how much health I'm missing. Wow. Don't hit me. I remember there's a little joke. I shot my friend in the fucking skull and left his corpse on the side of the room. As a joke, I killed my friend's parents before they picked him up from school. And he waited for hours. When are we gonna see the split series you're talking about? What about the spirit one? What about the yo-yo one? What about the thorium summoner one? What about the just more summon one? As a joke, I dropped my pants in front of my homie, but he got so attracted to my massive wiener and now we're eight years married. Bro, I remember, okay, here, I got a story. We were watching a play, or we went to a play for one of my friends on to support her. I went into the bathroom before the play started. Like, they were doing, like, you know, getting everyone seated and shit. And I went into the bathroom. This motherfucker had his pants all the way down, and he was peeing, like, on the side of a stall. So it's like, you know, the wall of a stall, and then the two urinals, and then it's the other wall to cover the urinals. I walk in, this motherfucker's peeing on the fucking wall. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I just walked, I just walked out. I just turned around and left. He fucking saw me too. Like, he looked at me and I'm like, all right, bro, I'm out of here. I think we killed pretty much all the bosses, but mini bosses, old ones, army, and lupus. Hey, shout out. An anonymous, an anonymous gifter. <laughs> an anonymous gifter, there you go. An anonymous really an anomalous i remember that one in the one math class i had junior year i remember this one kid he was fucking with this other kid and then like the other kid just had it and i think he sat like right in front of me or right beside me some shit so i remember they like got in a fight and i was right there i i didn't even stand up they're like fighting right right next to me but you know i had to help a little bit i didn't want to like have a battle going on so i just grabbed his right arm and just held him there the, the one kid who who tried to start all the shit i was just sitting down and i grabbed his arm and i just sat there didn't move i just held on to his arm as tight as i could so he couldn't move and then after like they got kicked out and shit my teacher was like did you just sit there the whole time I'm like no nah, i helped a little bit i grabbed his arm <laughs> and we were just talking about that shit the rest of the period they were like you were just chilling the whole time I'm like i helped a little bit <laughs> i didn't i didn't want to get up I don't want to get involved. It's not my fight. You once got kicked out of an Airbnb in Florida. Don't even get me started on Airbnb. If I start talking about Airbnb stories, I'm going to get fucking heated. Me and my friends, we never have like Airbnbs go through. And it just makes like a bunch of trips so like annoying. For LA, we're going to LA next week or this upcoming week. Yeah, we're going to LA and oh my God, we went through like fucking like five, six Airbnbs. They blocked one of my friends account just out of nowhere. They blocked his account for him trying to book the Airbnb. And it's like, what the fuck? And like, we reserved some of them already. So that means there's just like money. 
that we gave to Airbnb and it's just sitting there. <laughs> We're waiting for it to go through the refund process. Just imagine like a fucking $200. You just throw that shit out the window. I mean, it'll come back eventually. The wind will blow it back eventually, but you just wait until that process goes through. The the host in Airbnb, like the people that host the houses, they get too much like a power. Like they need like a customer policy thing. Like I know it's their fucking house, but like when you strand people, leave people stranded in like a different state or city, like you should be able to get arrested for that shit. Some girl at my school gave head to a guy in the bathroom and everyone found out because she had a cum stain on her shirt. You hate to see it. There's gonna be a lot of bubbles on here now that I look at it. Maybe I shouldn't include the bubbles. I feel like the wall of flesh fry is not... Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker! That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I feel like the wall flush fight is not gonna be too bad. Guy Bridge. 2,000 wood. That's a lot of wood, guys. What do I think of the McDonald's BTS meal? They fucking copied my go to meal. That's what I think. Fucking bastards. Could have at least consulted me. I would have been chill. Nah, I'm taking my talents to Arby's. I'm collabing with Arby's, bro. We're gonna make the nastiest sandwich. Mods play a big part in a lot of fucking games. I feel like if a game isn't really modifiable, it's not a good game. Are you telling me most people are going to say Skyrim is a good game without mods? Like, I know people that specifically won't play Skyrim unless they got a fuck ton of mods installed. Cyberpunk died pretty quick. See, here's the thing with Cyberpunk. It's a single player game, open world. You play it, you beat it, you don't play it again for a while. So, like, when people bring up, like, man, nobody talks about Cyberpunk. Like, bro, it's a single player game that you play through once. I don't know. People just bitch about Cyberpunk to bitch. Like, yeah, they had a bad launch. They fucked up a lot of things, but like people just talk shit about it too much. <laughs> it's not that bad of a game. I'm a person that plays open world games all the time. Like I had fun playing Cyberpunk. That shit was really fun. Hacking shit, stealthing, being like a stealthy hacker type of character. Like that shit was so fun. I don't really stand for Cyberpunk slander, bro. Cause it really wasn't that bad at all. Unless you played it on your fucking beep boop PS4 or fucking garbage ass Xbox One. Everyone was fucking with the Outer Worlds. Everyone loved the Outer Worlds. What happened? It's a single player game. They finished it. They don't talk about it anymore. Unless DLC comes out. And then once like Cyberpunk becomes like super modifiable and shit like that, like, people are gonna fuck with it all the time. Until Bethesda drops the next Elder Scrolls, you know, people are still gonna play Skyrim. Everyone in the chat, we're all gonna have like kids. I'm gonna be in like my 50s. You guys are gonna be in like your 30s or 20s. Like, I bet if you were to ask, like, somebody at Bethesda, are y'all working on the Elder Scrolls 6? Like, huh? <laughs> oh, should I do the Akinator thing? All right, fine. We'll, we'll do the Akinator thing. Is your character real? Yes. Is your character gender female? No. Does your character run a gaming channel? How do you, like, got to this question right away? Does your character show their face a lot? No. Does your character wear something green? I feel like he always goes to green. Who the fuck wears something green? Is it dream? It's dream, isn't it? That's why they always go to it. Character wear a crown. It's probably techno. Black and red. Like, yeah, it always goes. <laughs> it goes to the same questions every time. Is your character in love with Alexander Hamilton? Who? <laughs> well, I know who, but like, who the fuck is the person that loves that? Alexander Hamilton? Your character <laughs> guarding to the couch you want to. Yeah, just in case you guys didn't know, I made a cameo in uh, Guardians 2. Is your character there when Earth formed? That's crazy. <laughs> is your character all over the internet? Does your character have more than 50 subscribers? Does your character talk? See, we're like on a completely... No. Does your character cuss a lot? I don't like when we get into this. Is. Does your character do backflips? Alright, this is a little Game Raiders lore. I have been known to do backflips. Just kidding. Does your character move by rolling? Who the fuck? Does your character have numbers in their name? I do have numbers in my name. Does your character play Terraria? I do play Terraria. It's me. Yep, they, they fucking got me. I feel like it's always around 40 questions. I'm trying to get it like faster than 40 questions. It's the it's the cuss the swears a lot. Do they have numbers in your name? And then Terraria. Like Terraria, I feel like it's confirmed gonna get to me. 